to you from our small camper. And this is our galley. This is the entire galley area of our camper. So I have some tips for you for things that you can make yourself or perhaps you'd like to purchase them from my Etsy shop. I'm a hand weaver and I've got some really nice decor items. And it doesn't mean that just because you have a small camper that you don't want something that looks nice. And one of the nice things about ordering or about making your own is that you can get the size and the color that you want. In my shop, you can order a size, a specific size to fit your camper and the color that fits your color scheme. Here we have on my counter, we have just a stove and a sink. And you can see that there's actually no counter space. And so what we've done is we've covered the stove, even though it comes with a glass top, we've covered it with a dish drying mat. And so when we wash the dishes, we just simply stack them here and they can drip dry because this dish drying mat is 100% cotton and as you can see, it's very thick. And so it can absorb a lot of water. In our particular case, our stove has a um, glass top that can be folded up when when you're using your stove and so it has this crack here and if I were to dry the dishes on top of it I might get water down in through that crack so I needed something so I made this dish drying mat that I use and it's one of our favorite things to use in our camper the second thing that I'd like to talk to you about is something as simple as a dish mat a uh, dish cloth now, in a camper with a limited space, you'll need a nice dishcloth that's absorbent because you're going to have some spills and you want to clean them up. And this dishcloth is made with rug cotton, so it's kind of a, a thicker uh, type of cotton, same thing as this. And it's woven in a pattern that has some texture to it, so you can use it to get all those little bits of, of food left in your, in your uh, dishes. I also have some little baskets. One of the things you don't want soap um, rings left around uh, on your countertop. So I've got a basket here that you can make. It's a fairly simple thing. And it's got a liner that is um, water resistant. And all you need to do is just wipe it clean. Here's another one. You could put uh, your coffee pods in it. Um, or creamer or sugar in it and just simply store it or when it's not in use all of these cloth ones you can see they they uh, roll up pretty easily when not in use and that's another thing when you're storing these things away you need to have um, they need to be flexible so that they can uh, be stored away easily here's the last thing I want to show you it's a good old tea towel. This one's a little smaller. I've got some larger ones, but you can see that a tea towel is, is definitely a must around uh, your kitchen area. And this one is 100% cotton. I would highly recommend that when you buy a tea towel, you look at the fiber content to see if it's not polycotton because polycotton is made with plastic. It's polymer. And so plastic doesn't doesn't absorb water so that part of the thread that's made of that poly is not going to absorb as much water as a hundred percent cotton uh, tea towel would so you get more bang for your buck when you use a cotton tea towel so those are my ideas and of course in the morning when you're making your coffee with your little coffee pot here and you want to catch those dribbles you got to have your dish drying mat out and uh, if you're looking at dish drying mats, make sure it does have that water absorbency feature so that you don't have water going all over because you can see it doesn't take too long before it gets off on my sofa. <laughs> so that's the life of living or of using a small camper space. And we really enjoy this camper. It just got back from Illinois and uh, I'm a bird watcher, so I enjoy watching the birds and getting up early, getting my coffee ready. 
So we'll talk to you later. And if you have any questions, you can look at our shop and see all the handwoven items that we have available for sale because you'll be surprised what a hand weaver can do.